Hey there programmers, it is Mr. Baumgarten coming back at you with another Pi Game video. This one is special request courtesy of Ambrose. So shout out to you and thank you for the suggestion. Uh, this follows on from video number two where we had our player with the animation actions uh, occurring. If I can get it to work. <laughs> yeah. It's already running in the background, that's why. Um, where we have moving left moving right up and down all right so if you haven't got that running you need to finish video two today we are going to quickly add some gravity to it stop here we go okay uh, so a few little bits and pieces I'm going to quickly do housekeeping wise to tidy this up first is I'm going to set my y value to window dot get height minus 70 so that it's down at the bottom of my um, world ready to jump up all right let's get this going now in the same way that I used a frame counter for my right animation and my left animation I'm going to use the same for my jumping action to keep track of what frame I am in for my jumping. And so by default, my player jump frame is going to be set to zero. Uh, but then when I hit the W key to start a jump, I am going to say, let's start 20 frames of jumping up action. So player jump frame is equal to 20. And that is going to take care of my jump instead of uh, the W key. So I'm going to take these two lines of code out and I'm going to use put them down here into my game logic section. I'm going to create a new if statement. If player jump frame is greater than zero, then I know I'm in the middle of a jumping animation. Uh, and so then I'm going to paste those two lines of code back in there. So when I'm jumping, that's when it, for, every, for my 20 frames of jumping, I'm going to be removing 10 pixels of Y each time and making sure that I'm displaying the jump sprite. So I will just put in here, jump in, in progress. Uh, yeah, okay. The other thing we also need to do is we've got 20 frames worth of jumping going on. So we better make sure that we reduce this number so that it doesn't carry on forever so player jump frame needs to be uh, player jump frame minus one we need to reduce this by one each time uh, so a quick little pro tip on this if you are just working on a single variable and performing a basic arithmetic operation on it um, rather than needing to spell out in detail player jump frame minus one and then set it back into player jump frame you can just do play jump frame minus equals one. There's also a plus equals, multiply equals, divide equals, etc. So over the course of the 20 frames, that will reduce it by one each time until it reaches the point of zero, which means it no longer triggers this if statement and we will stop moving up. So if I was to run this and I hit my W key, it moves up for 20 frames and then stops. Now, how do I get it to land? All right, so I'm going to attach an else if here. Uh, uh, now, I know that my player jump frame is zero or potentially less than zero. It's going to be zero uh, to get to this if statement. So I don't need to say else if jump frame equals zero because, because it's an else if, it's only possible if uh, this one here didn't, but if this one here wasn't true. Um, but what I do want to check is have I landed? So if my Y value is smaller than uh, my ground value, which is window dot get height minus 70. If it is, then I need to be increasing my Y by 10 pixels each time and make sure that I'm showing the sprite for landing. And so I'm going to actually just get those take those out of my s key um, and I'll 
I'll just put the word pass there. Pass is just Python code for do nothing. All right, because I, I um, you can't have an if statement that has no line, no indented line straight after it. So pass is kind of like just a placeholder. And that should make it land. Let's test this and see where we're at. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. What did I do wrong? Ah, player jump height, that is a function. So that needs the parentheses around it there. Up and down, up and down. Now there's only one other slight little problem with this is that I can jump when I'm still in midair, I can start a new jump. Now I don't know about you, but my understanding of the laws of physics is you can't jump unless you're jumping off of a surface. So let's just quickly add that to it. Uh, and the easiest way to do that will be here on my W key, not to set the value of 20 just automatically every time I press W because that is starting my jump animation. So I'm going to make it so that I can only start a jump if my Y value is set to whatever my ground value is. So if the Y is set to that, then I can start 20 frames worth of up jumping. Otherwise, that if statement will just get ignored. And so no matter how much I press the W key, it will not start a new jump until I hit the ground. One last thing I am going to do is there is a principle in programming known as dry. D-R-Y. Don't repeat yourself, or at least not unnecessarily. Uh, this thing here, I have used five or six times in my code to indicate the ground. You can see here all the different times it exists. Right, that means anytime I want to change the ground, I have to remember all those different places to change it. That's not a great idea. So I'm going to create a variable called Y ground. And I'm going to put this in that. And then all these other locations, I'm going to set to Y ground. So now I've just got this variable. And I'm going to, even going to keep the comment here to remind myself why I did this. And then I need to go back and now remember all the places that I've used it. So that is the ground there. Do, 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 do. That's the ground there. That is the ground there. And that's the ground there. And now if I run this, okay. The idea of this is that I can now just change this number in one location. So if I had I got 170 just to make it really obvious. All right, that is now my new ground, and all of my code has automatically adjusted accordingly. Cool. Next video, we are going to be adding platforms. So we'll be able to jump up to a platform, we'll be able to jump down to platforms, and we'll make the platforms look really pretty as well. This is Mr. Baumgarten signing out.